For most of its four decade history, the BMW 5 Series has been known for its classic styling, exacting craftsmanship, and athletic personality. More so than perhaps any other model in the company's lineup, this mid-sized luxury sports sedan epitomized BMW's ultimate driving machine advertising tagline. The 2015 BMW 5 Series represents a larger, more practical generation of this famed nameplate that prioritizes comfort, safety, technology, and yes, fuel economy over a sporty driving experience. So let's go ahead and check out this 2015 BMW 5 Series. Now our 5 Series we have here is the 535i equipped with the 3 liter inline 6 cylinder turbo powertrain. And then it's also in this, this nice dark graphite metallic exterior color which looks pretty good in my opinion. And it really makes the 5 Series stand out. Now as far as styling goes of the 5 Series, I think it's quite clean and quite handsome. Pretty sedate as well. And it's definitely less adventurous than the last generation 5 Series. And coming into the rear end, you can really tell that it takes styling cues from the smaller 3 Series as well as the bigger 7 Series. But it still keeps some of those familiar BMW um, traits, including the Kinney grille design up on the front. Now here's the key fob design for the vehicle. As you can see, it's very BMW familiar here. You have your lock, unlock, to release your trunk, and then your panic button too, of course. And as far as the design goes of it, I think it's kind of boring. There's nothing too noteworthy about it. I feel like they can make it just a little more premium by adding a nice high gloss black around the key fob. It just looks a little cheap, in my opinion. But as you can see, it's just a regular old smart key from BMW. Now, like I said, this is the dark graphite metallic exterior color. And you do have smart key access on all four doors. With the ivory white Napa leather interior. This is actually probably my favorite interior color of the 5 Series. It just really makes the whole interior pop. Your power driver's seat controls, power recline, and your four-way power lumbar. Now stepping on into the interior, I really do love the two-tone with the white Napa leather and then the black on top, on top of the dashboard. Like I said, the white Napa leather does make this interior pop out a little bit more. It makes it look less Spartan. And then I really do like this nice trim going throughout the whole entire cabin. Definitely gives it a more uh, sporting flair. Now, you do have push button ignition. Just put your foot on the brake, hit the button to start, of course. And then, like I said, what you're hearing is that 3 liter inline 6 cylinder turbo powertrain. Now coming to your transmission, you have an 8-speed shiftable automatic, down for drive, up for reverse. You also do have manual shiftability as well. However, there's no paddle shifters, which I'm actually quite surprised about on this vehicle, which is around 65 grand. I expect paddle shifters, but that is available on the 5 Series. And then push for park. Easy as that. And then putting the vehicle into reverse displays your rear view camera. You also do have trajectory, rear parking sensors on this bad boy, as well as front parking sensors. And you can also change different settings of the rear view camera, including the brightness and the contrast. And if you want parking aid lines and obstacle markings. Pretty neat. All right. And let's go ahead and cut on the lights and the hazards. All windows are fully automatic in the 5 Series. And let's go ahead and pop the hood and check out the engine bay. Full heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators integrated onto the mirrors. 
Now coming with the M Sport package, you also do have an aerodynamic kit and 19 inch double spoke alloy wheels coming to the front. You also do have HID headlights with LED daytime running lights and LED fogs as well. And headlight washers too. Now under the hood you will find a 3 liter inline 6 cylinder turbo powertrain producing 302 horses at 5800 RPM and 295 pound-feet of torque at 1300 RPM. This powertrain is also pretty smooth too, providing EPA numbers of 20 in the city and 31 on the highway, which is pretty good. This powertrain also delivers enough passing power as well for your daily commute. Now essentially there is also three other powertrains to choose from on top of this 3 liter 6 cylinder turbo. You have a 3 liter 6 cylinder turbo diesel, a 4.4 liter V8 twin turbo, and a 2 liter 4 cylinder turbo. And they can all be had with all wheel drive and they come standard with a 8 speed automatic transmission. Pricing of the 5 Series starts at the 528i model, which starts at $49,500. Then for the, for the 535i model, that starts at $55,100. And then for the 550i model, that starts at $63,900. And then you have the 535d, which starts at $56,600. Now competitors of the 5 Series range from its long-term rival, the Mercedes-Benz E-Class, the Lexus GS, as well as the Audi A6, are just to name a few. LED turn signals with LED tail lamps, dual exhaust tips, and a rear window defroster, rear parking sensors as well. Total vehicle price is $65,125 and like I said, EPA estimates are at 20 in the city and 31 on the highway. And here's to just take a look at the packages. You have the cold weather package, the driver assistance package, the premium package, and the M Sport package. Everything of course is the highest of quality. Nice soft touch armrest with nice stitching and on the mid door panel as well and on the upper door panel is very high quality too and here goes your power windows power mirrors of course and your memory seat settings for two people you also do have an Harman Kardon audio sound system and let's go ahead and rev up the 5 series and see how she sounds Very nice. And of course build and materials are exquisite throughout the entire cabin of the 5 Series. You have nice premium stitching throughout the whole entire cabin and everything is soft touch and the highest of quality. But that's to be very expected when you buy this kind of car, especially in a BMW. Now I also do really love the nice aluminum hexagon trim going throughout the whole entire cabin which BMW likes to call it which comes with the M Sport package. Now as far as the steering wheel design goes I love this steering wheel design and this comes with 
the M package and I don't know why I've always been a fan but I just love how thick it is it just gives it a more sporting flair it makes you feel more confident behind the wheel and you do have your serial mounted audio controls over here your Bluetooth and your voice recognition and your cruise control buttons over here now coming up here you have your garage home link auto dimming rearview mirror interior illumination lighting SOS Safety Connect as well as your sunroof controls and the power sliding shade. Now as far as seating comfort goes, the seats are very supportive, the nice right perfect amount of side bolstering and the perfect amount of cushion to them. They're not extremely firm or extremely soft like a couch. And as far as driving impressions go of the 5 Series, it's more comfort oriented this time around and less engaging to drive. It's actually one of the worst handling vehicles in the midsize luxury sports sedan segment. And it's not as good as it used to be. And that's because BMW is really trying to compete with Mercedes Benz as well as Lexus. However, I think the Lexus GS is better handling than the 5 Series. Now coming to your climate controls and the center stack, everything is very easy to reach and very ergonomically correct. Um, you do have dual zone automatic climate control, you have your heated seats button, button right there, and then for the passenger as well, and then you have your fan speeds, and then your different temperatures, and then you can actually change the different fan speeds for the passenger and the driver which is pretty neat some dual zone automatic climate controls just do um, one fan speed for both the driver and passenger but they do separate then you do have a rear, your rear window defroster button and your front window defroster as well and then right over here is to change your um, different zones of circulation and then coming right here you have your AM, FM there's all your presets and then right here you'll find your optical disk drive. Now coming down here you have your cup holders, your different driver selectable modes right here, and then your controls for the iDrive system which I will get to in just a second. And here's your center console and down there you'll find one USB port and auxiliary input and then you can actually lock your trunk from inside the vehicle so no one can get to it. And then everything is very high quality, line with felt, and you can just see all the attention to detail. Now as far as visibility goes out of the 5 Series, it's actually one of the best in the class. It's pretty much just as good as the Mercedes-Benz E-Class, and both of those cars don't have really any sloping roof lines, but there is just the right nice amount of glass area all around and the outward visibility is also pretty good however you do have a pretty long hood which I'm noticing but out in the back the seat pillar isn't that thick and there's just the nice right amount of glass area all around now coming to the iDrive system like I said everything is pretty much controlled by this dial right here and these set of buttons as you could see But the graphics and the rendering of the iDrive system are superb. And like I said, you have your different media options like your USB port, Bluetooth streaming audio, your auxiliary input, and your optical disk drive. You can change the tone as well. Then of course you have your radio, and you also do have satellite radio too of course your telephone, dial number, your received calls, and you can redial, and your phone book, your navigation, enter address, points of interest, your address book, stored trips, and your route information, and your GPS coordinates. And entering the, in the address is pretty easy. You can just select the state you want, go to California, we'll do the street, 
and then you can also do it by voice as well. And you have your contacts on here. Connected drive, your BMW assistance, roadside assistance as well, BMW online. Pretty neat. And you do have 3G as well. You can go to your weather, applications, and your news. Many different things you can access with BMW Online. Let's go to your applications really quickly. And then coming to your applications, you can send to mail, pictures at destination, a fuel price search, your wiki local, and Yelp. Then you do have customer relations, service request, and your BMW apps. But you have to connect the, the device via the USB. But basically when you want to go back for everything, you just press this back button right here. And then also for simpler use, you can just go straight to the menu and that brings up all of the different menus you can go to. Or you can just go straight to telephone or straight to your nav or straight to your different media options and then straight to the radio. Now coming to your nav system, this is actually one of the best in the business. The resolution of it as well as the crispness of it is just superb. You also do have live traffic as well. And the screen is big enough to where it's not too small or it's not too big either. It's actually just right in my opinion. And if you want to zoom in and out, just go like this. But everything is ergonomically correct in this vehicle. You have your voice instructions, your routes, your points of interest, and your traffic info. Like I said, you do have live traffic, interactive map, and then you can change the different map views and what map content appears on the map. I particularly love this view. Now like I said, you do have different driver selectable modes. You have a Eco Pro mode, a Comfort mode, as well as a Sport mode. And then when you come into the Sport mode, you can actually have a sport display which shows you the power and the torque. Then you also do have the comfort mode which softens up the suspension a little bit. And then you have an eco pro mode which helps save fuel and this is the most fuel efficient setting if you're looking to save a little bit of fuel. And then it shows you um, what your fuel mileage was in your different modes. And then up here it does say charge and power and efficient dynamics right up there. And then you do have your fuel information. And then right there is your time, your odometer. And then if you want to change from AM, FM, or the CD player. And the instrument cluster is pretty nice and clear and easy to read as well. Now let's also get to vehicle info. You have your owner's manual, onboard info, your sport displays, engine oil level, and if your service if you have service required. And then you also do have a touchpad, which can be used for entering in 
a destination on the navigation. You also do have heads up display. And then you can change the instrument cluster what you want to appear up on there. Many different settings. But overall, I love the iDrive system and they have improved it so much from when they introduced it way back on the 2002 BMW 7 Series is that it has improved dramatically. Now coming down here you also do have a couple more luxury amenities including, including a power tilt and telescopic steering wheel, a heated steering wheel. And then you also do have heads up display. Now coming to the instrument and gauge, cl gauge cluster, I particularly like these gauges in the instruments. They have a nice crisp and clear surrounding to them. And then over here is where your temperature will be, your exterior temperature display. And then you can also change um, your different sources like your AM, FM, and your CD player right here by changing, by going to mode. And then right here is your odometer. And then right over here is where your time will be. Simple as that. <laughs> now coming over to your heads up display, this is the button for it to turn it off and on. And to adjust the settings for it, to change the brightness, it's accessed from the iDrive. You can change the brightness of it, and it shows you your speedometer, and then you can also change the height of it as well. And then it shows you different information, including your navigation, your cruise control, check control messages, and your entertainment and telephone. Pretty neat. Now, one complaint I do have about the 5 Series is the automatic start stop system. And thankfully, you can turn it off at times. However, when it is turned on, it can be intrusive at times, especially at a stoplight. And it is very noticeable inside the cabin when the engine turns right back on, which is a minor complaint to me. However, like I said, thankfully you can turn that off. Alright, and let's go ahead and shut down the 5 Series. Let's go ahead and check out the rear seat passenger space as well as the trunk capacity. Of course, everything does follow through in the rear. Still, everything is the highest of quality. Now sitting back here, it's definitely one of the roomiest um, mid-size luxury sedans. I definitely have enough room. I have the driver's seat to where my driving position would be. I'm about 5'11", and I have a decent amount of room back here. And I do have dual map pockets as well, heated rear seats, rear air vents too. And your cup holders, rear center armrest, and storage. However, one complaint I do have is the center tunnel right here. Which can make it hard for three full-size adults to fit back here. Oh. You also do have a power trunk lid. Ski pass-through. Little storage area. However, what I am noticing is that this trunk is actually pretty small. I'm actually pretty disappointed in that. Full powered passenger seat with power recline and power lumbar. Your glove box compartment, nice and damp, the highest of quality and line with felt. Alrighty. So the 2015 BMW 5 Series is an all-around leader among mid-size luxury sedans. Where area's earlier 5 Series models were known for their sports sedan-like reflexes, the current car gives greater priority comfort and luxury amenities. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.
many different things you can access with BMW Online. Let's go to your applications really quickly. And then coming to your applications, you can send to mail, pictures at destination, a fuel price search, your wiki local, and Yelp. Then you do have customer relations, service request, and your BMW apps. But you have to connect the, the device via the USB. But basically when you want to go back for everything, you just press this back button right here. And then also for simpler use, you can just go straight to the menu and that brings up all of the different menus you can go to. Or you can just go straight to telephone or straight to your nav or straight to your different media options and then straight to the radio. Now coming to your nav system, this is actually one of the best in the business. The resolution of it as well as the crispness of it is just superb. You also do have live traffic as well. And the screen is... Now as far as visibility goes out of the 5 Series, it's actually one of the best in the class. It's pretty much just as good as the Mercedes-Benz E-Class and both of those cars don't have really any sloping roof lines but there is just the right nice amount of glass area all around and the outward visibility is also pretty good. However, you do have a pretty long hood which I'm noticing. But out in the back, the seat pillar isn't that thick and there's just the nice right amount of glass area all around. Now coming to the iDrive system, like I said, everything is pretty much controlled by this dial right here and these set of buttons, as you can see. But the graphics and the rendering of the iDrive system are superb. And like I said, you have your different media options like your USB port, Bluetooth streaming audio, your auxiliary input, and your optical disk drive. You can change the tone as well. Then of course you have your radio, and you also do have satellite radio too, of course. Your telephone, dial number, your received calls, and you can redial, and your phone book. Your navigation. Now as far as the steering wheel design goes, I love this steering wheel design, and this comes with the M package. And I don't know why I've always been a fan, but I just love how thick it is. It just gives it a more sporting flair. It makes you feel more confident behind the wheel. And you do have your serial mounted audio controls over here, your Bluetooth and your voice recognition, and your cruise control buttons over here. Now coming up here, you have your garage home link, auto dimming rear view mirror, interior illumination lighting. SOS Safety Connect as well as your sunroof controls and the power sliding shade. Now as far as seating comfort goes, the seats are very supportive. The nice, right, perfect amount of side bolstering and the perfect amount of cushion to them. They're not extremely firm or extremely soft like a couch. And as far as driving impressions go of the 5 Series, it's more comfort oriented this time around and less engaging to drive. It's actually one of the worst handling vehicles in the midsize luxury sports sedan segment. And it's not as good as it used to be. And that's because BMW is really trying to compete with Mercedes-Benz as well as Lexus. However, I think the Lexus GS... But the graphics and the rendering of the iDrive system are superb. And like I said, you have your different media options like your USB port, Bluetooth streaming audio, your auxiliary input, and your optical disk drive. You can change the tone as well. Then of course you have your radio, and you also do have satellite radio too of course. 
your telephone, dial number, your received calls, and you can redial, and your phone book, your navigation, enter address, points of interest, your address book, stored trips, and your route information, and your GPS coordinates. And entering the, in the address is pretty easy. You can just select the state you want. Go to California. We'll do the street. And then you can also do it by voice as well. And you have your contacts on here. But everything is ergonomically correct in this vehicle. You have your voice instructions, your routes, your points of interest, and your traffic info. Like I said, you do have live traffic, interactive map, and then you can change the different map views and what map content appears on the map. I particularly love this view. Now, like I said, you do have different driver selectable modes. You have a Eco Pro mode, a Comfort mode, as well as a Sport mode. And then, when you come into the Sport mode, you can actually have a Sport display, which shows you the power and the torque. Then you also do have the Comfort mode, which softens up the suspension a little bit. And then... You have an eco Pro mode, which helps save fuel, and this is the most fuel-efficient setting if you're looking to save a little bit of fuel. And then it shows you um, what your fuel mileage was in your different modes. And then up here, it does say charge and power and efficient dynamics right up there. And then you do have your fuel hopefully you can turn that off all right and let's go ahead and shut down the 5 series let's go ahead and check out the rear seat passenger space as well as the trunk capacity of course everything does follow through in the rear still everything is the highest of quality now sitting back here it's definitely one of the roomiest um, mid-size luxury sedans I definitely have enough room. I have the driver's seat to where my driving position would be. I'm about 5'11", and I have a decent amount of room back here. And I do have dual map pockets as well, heated rear seats, rear air vents too. And your cup holders, rear center armrest, and storage. However, one complaint I do have is the center tunnel right here which can make it hard for three full-size adults to fit back here oh. you also do have a power trunk lid ski pass through little storage area However, what I am noticing is that this trunk is actually pretty small. I'm actually a fuel economy over a sporty driving experience. So, let's go ahead and check out this 2015 BMW 5 Series. Now, our 5 Series we have here is the 535i equipped with the 3 liter inline 6 cylinder turbo powertrain. And then it's also in this, this nice dark graphite metallic exterior color, which looks pretty good in my opinion. And it really makes the 5 Series stand out. Now as far as styling goes of the 5 Series, I think it's quite clean and quite handsome. Pretty sedate as well. And it's definitely less adventurous than the last generation 5 Series. And Coming into the rear end, you can really tell that it takes styling cues from the smaller 3 series as well as the bigger 7 series. But it still keeps some of those familiar BMW um, traits including the kidney grille design up on the front. 
Now here's the key fob design for the vehicle. As you can see, it's very BMW familiar here. You have your lock, unlock, to release your trunk, and then your panic button too, of course. And as far as the design goes of it, I think it's kind of boring. There's nothing too noteworthy about it. I feel like they can make it just a little more premium by adding a nice high gloss black around the key fob. It just looks a little cheap in my opinion. But as you can see it's just a regular to your different media options and then straight to the radio. Now coming to your nav system this is actually one of the best in the business. The resolution of it as well as the crispness of it is just superb. You also do have live traffic as well and the screen is big enough to where it's not too small or it's not too big either it's actually just right in my opinion and if you want to zoom in and out just go like this but everything is ergonomically correct in this vehicle you have your voice instructions your routes your points of interest and your traffic info like I said you do have live traffic interactive map and then you can change the different map views and what map content appears on the map. I particularly love this view. Now like I said you do have different driver selectable modes. You have a eco pro mode, a comfort mode as well as a sport mode. And then when you come into the sport mode you can actually have a sport display which shows you the power and the torque then you also do have the comfort mode which softens up the suspension a little trim going throughout the whole entire cabin definitely gives it a more uh, sporting flair now you do have push button ignition just put your phone on the brake hit the button to start of course And then, like I said, what you're hearing is that 3 liter inline 6 cylinder turbo powertrain. Now, coming to your transmission, you have an 8 speed shiftable automatic, down for drive, up for reverse. You also do have manual shiftability as well. However, there's no paddle shifters, which I'm actually quite surprised about on this vehicle, which is around 65 grand. I expect paddle shifters, but that is available on the 5 series. And then, push for park. Easy as that. And then putting the vehicle into reverse displays your rear view camera. You also do have trajectory, rear parking sensors on this bad boy, as well as front parking sensors. And you can also change different settings of the rear view camera, including the brightness and the contrast. And if you want parking aid lines and obstacle markings. pretty neat alright and let's go ahead and cut on the lights and the hazards that's to be very expected when you buy this kind of car especially in a BMW now I also do really love the nice aluminum hexagon trim going throughout the whole entire cabin which BMW likes to call it which comes with the M Sport package. Now as far as the steering wheel design goes, I love this steering wheel design and this comes with the M package and I don't know why I've always been a fan but I just love how thick it is. It just gives it a more sporting flair. It makes you feel more confident behind the wheel. And you do have your steering wheel mounted audio controls over here, your Bluetooth and your voice recognition and your cruise control buttons over here. Now coming up here you have your garage home link, auto dimming rear view mirror, interior illumination lighting, SOS safety connect as well as your sunroof controls, and the power sliding shade. Now as far as seating comfort goes, the seats are very supportive, the nice right perfect amount of side bolstering and the perfect amount of cushion to them. They're not extremely firm or extremely soft like a couch and as far as driving impressions go of the 5 series it's more comfort oriented this time around and less engaging to drive it's actually 
Now as far as visibility goes out of the 5 Series, it's actually one of the best in the class. It's pretty much just as good as the Mercedes-Benz E-Class and both of those cars don't have really any sloping roof lines but there is just the right nice amount of glass area all around and the outward visibility is also pretty good. However you do have a pretty long hood which I'm noticing but out in the back the C pillar isn't that thick and there's just the nice right amount of glass area all around. Now coming to the iDrive system, like I said, everything is pretty much controlled by this dial right here and these set of buttons, as you could see. But the graphics and the rendering of the iDrive system are superb. And like I said, you have your different media options like your USB port, Bluetooth streaming audio, your auxiliary input and your optical disk drive, change the tone as well. Then of course you have your radio and you also do have satellite radio too of course. Your telephone, dial number, your received calls and you can redial and your phone book. Your navigation, enter address